festivals. Lord Moncton, talk to me about uh, this debate on are we a carbon-starved planet? Well, uh, Will Happer testified, he's from Princeton, testified in front of the Senate committee uh, with Dr. Pachari on this recently, and Will Happer's view that yes, we, we are carbon starved. If we go back to the Cambrian era, 7,000 parts per million to, compared with less than 400 parts per million today, go back to the Triassic era, 175 million years ago, at the time when the Aragonite corals, the most fragile of all the corals, came into being by algal symbiosis for the first time, again, around 6,500 to 7,000 parts per million per million of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a plant food. It's necessary. Uh, Say that again. Carbon dioxide is what? It's plant food. It's plant food. Yeah. Without it, all plant life and therefore all life that depends so on it. So if we decrease the use of carbon dioxide, are we not taking away plant food from the atmosphere? Yes, indeed you are. The U.S. Forest, Forest Service has very good figures showing the enormous growth in the, in the cubic yard. So all our good intentions could be for vain. In fact, we could be doing just the opposite of what the people who want to save the world are saying. You, you could indeed. You're quite right. And I would just, the, the basic finish with this comment is, the earth will not be destroyed by a flood. And I yield back my time.